Let's review the CAD pump when it's set into the PCA mode. Um, the no Okay, so actually this is good. The screen has gone blank because it does go blank after a certain period of time to save the battery. In order to get the screen to come back, you can press any of these soft key buttons. Um, note that the pump is still running the amber light is blinking. So you know that the pump is still running. So just press the soft key button to bring you back to the display screen. You'll see here that the pump is set to PCA. It's stopped, i.e. it's not running currently. Um, and this is your reservoir. Okay, so that's how much milliliters are left in your medication bag. When you come into your shift and when you are leaving your shift, whether that be at seven or at three, for instance, or maybe 11, uh, you will be doing the narcotic check onto the sheet, the extra sheet that stays in the narcotic room as well, but is specific to your patient and their medication that they're getting, their high alert PCA medication. This needs to be done with another nurse. So you, and another nurse are doing this together. So again, press any soft key to get back to the screen. We're gonna to go to select tasks. We're going down to view delivery settings. Um, and we can see here the PCA pump is, um, is set to PCA. The medication here is midazolam and the concentration is five milligrams per milliliter. You should be double checking this with your medication bag as as well as with the physician's orders okay the continuous rate is one milligram per hour the dose if the patient or the family or yourself press this pca dose button will be one milligram the lockout is after 15 minutes so you cannot press this again within the first 15 minutes and you can do this only four times per hour, so which makes sense. Um, you're, you should not be changing this. This is just you double checking, okay? And there's your reservoir volume again, here and up here. So go back. So this, you just write down, you're just double checking. You're writing it down on the sheet. You're making sure this is what the doctor ordered and you're going back. Now we wanna view our reports. So how many times has this person or patient used the pump? So go down to view reports and select. And the first one you're going to select given and PCA dose and counters select. So what's the total given since this time and date? Um, these will usually be numbers, but this patient isn't using the pump right now. We're just using it as an example. So they do say zero, but this will likely have um, numbers here. So the total given since the last time it was checked and then the doses given and doses attempted. So when you write down the total, go total given since, you wanna also write that down and then clear. So it will go back to zero and note the time and the date has changed to just now. Go down to doses given, doses attempted, write these down and select clear doses. So now everything reads zero and is current with the time that it is now. Go back to your main screen and you can see what we were looking at before, that this is a continuous infusion. This is how much is left in the bag and it's not currently running, it is stopped. In order to start it again, if you had to stop it for some reason, you can press stop start, but you do not need to stop the pump in order to go through these tasks with your uh, nurse colleague, okay? And they are co-signing with you.